All right, let's go to Pinoni for you then. Now, uh, SBC News uh, reporter Natasha Piri joins us live for an update on the NC 14th uh, Gauteng conference uh, that has resumed, of course, uh, in Pinoni, in the east of uh, Johannesburg. A very good afternoon to you, Natasha. All right, Banyaza Lesufi uh, talking about unity uh, amidst what one can arguably call disorganization, given the fact that, you know, they failed to conclude the last time. Let's go back. Let's talk about what, what caused uh, those that failure to conclude and what's coming currently happening there in uh, Benoni, Natasha. Well, thank you so much, Flo. As you've uh, cited, uh, the last conference was actually marred by delays due to the issues of credentials. I mean, uh, delegates at the conference took nearly close to 10 hours, uh, you know, for adopting credentials. Also at the issue of the urgent court interdict, you had uh, the issue of bogus delegates as well. And of course, who could forget uh, the contentious issue of the quarantine votes. Uh, but of course, uh, it seems as if this time around, everything is planned much, much better, Flo. Uh, any everything is actually running according to plan right now delegates are busy eating and then um, after lunch uh, flow they will be going back to their commissions but to talk to me further is a person who's no stranger to the media i'm joined by the deputy uh, chair of uh, the anc here in gauteng um, mama thank you so much for joining us on sabc news are you happy with how things are actually uh, going today we are really happy about how things are going today even yesterday we had a pre-registration just taking those old texts giving them the new ones and everything was run smooth i was here until nine o'clock mm -hmm. at that time everybody was in his or her room mm -hmm. so preparations are in place this morning when i arrived i'm sure you have seen that we said we're going mm -hmm. to start at 10 yes. and exactly at 10 o'clock everybody was inside the hall as you can see now they are out for lunch but mm -hmm. i have to be honest we've tried to improve all the logistics that we've done. Pity that we were at Pinoni Lakes last and the venue was more mm. clustered and claustrophobic. Those who can, um, elder people were not mm. catered for, but now you can see all things are running smooth. Mm -hmm. My, you know, earlier on, I spoke to um, Obab Joe Mbisi from the SACP and he had called for a one man, one vote system in the ANC. I do I also understand that he plans on uh, raising the issue in commissions. Would the ANC be, you know, would, would you liken to, to, or would you warm up to this idea as the ANC? Because, I mean, this phenomenon, as he says, would get rid of the notion of vote buying. Anything that will assist us to issues of vote buying will definitely take that. But there must be discussions that are done by the ANC. And we're going for our national policy conference end of the month, which is July. All those issues, if SACP wants to raise those things, mm. they must raise them in that platform. Mm. Then we can take them if they are fine. But mm. always we have discussions, including even our guidelines, mm. because we are guided by documents. Yes. In every conference that we are running, there are guidelines that will give the branches so that everyone knows this is the position that the ANC is taking now. And I think, Natasha, you can see we are preparing now for commissions. Mm. You can see the arrows that are pointing to every area. We have invited key stakeholders, especially people in peace, business, social cluster teams, so that they can input on our documents. Mm. We have listened to the balance of forces yes. that Comrade Sputla was presenting mm. and Comrade Chilizi, but you can see that we want this session mm. to be more of political discussions. Mm. We want to take back the ANC where it used to be. Mm. I'm sure you have heard made some things saying we must even sing uniting songs, mm. do things that the ANC used to do, because society out there is watching us. Everybody wants to know what is it that we are going to come up out of this conference. Let's also talk about um, one, one issue, um, the balance of forces that was presented there by Ujosi and Zoramokhoba. Just also take our views through what, was, um, what he actually said. It was quite a thorough analysis of the party actually. In fact, Sputla brings us back to where we are now and take mm -hmm. us back again where we come from in terms of that. And what he was em emphasizing is for us to know that the ANC is no longer our ANC. Mm -hmm. ANC, society is looking upon the ANC. All the issues that we are doing will impact the ANC. So hence he was emphasizing even those that are deployed in government, they must make an impact in their areas of work. So I think we will definitely improve we will change the organization. Mm. We are still here, all of us. We know where we have made mistakes and our responsibility now, because when you have a conference, it's a platform to assess mm. what you have been doing in the four years and even in other years. So we are going to take stock of ourselves mm. and come back with a better ANC. Mm. Trust me, 2024, the ANC are going to win counting. Mm. 
Which brings me back to the organizational report that was uh, tabled two weeks ago. And, you know, it, it paints a glaring picture of the ANC. You you mentioned uh, the fact that, you know, you want to win back the ANC uh, in 2024. You've won three uh, key metros uh, last year at the mm-hmm. polls. How will you fix that trust deficit between the ANC and the people of Gauteng? After this conference, we're going to come up with a program of action. Mm. Firstly, it's going to be an induction of everyone that has been here, including the branches of the ANC. But we're going to open up the ANC to the society because ANC is not only for specific members. 100 members of the ANC are branch members. ANC is for the society, remember? So that's why we have seen even in our invitations, we invited almost everyone, including religious leaders, people that must criticize us as the ANC. So we will definitely make sure that we go out to communities, have programs that talk to to the citizens and the society. We're going to change even how we do things in government. We're going to have a session with the Premier so that when we present to him, MECs must know that when it's an ANC day, which is a Monday and a Wednesday it's Cabinet Day, but Monday and Thursdays it's ANC days, those days they must spend more time in the communities. So we will have that interaction with communities on a daily basis. We will use our parliamentary constituency offices again to reach out to the citizens, linking the work that we're doing in the organization with government work. Mamma okay. Mamantu, I mean, just engaging some delegates, uh, some of them label themselves or how think delegates as think tanks, mm-hmm. you know, of the ANC. What kind of discussions uh, can the viewers or can, you know, ANC delegates actually expect uh, when going to these commissions? And also another issue that uh, I spoke to um, about TK News about earlier on this morning, there seems to be a growing concern from some quarters within the ANC that some delegates don't actually go through these policy discussions of the ANC. You are right, but again, that's why we always say when there is a conference, there must be a report back session to citizens mm. so that even those that are unable to translate these documents mm. to the citizens, we do deployment. PEC members will go and run those sessions mm. where every member, it's sort of a workshop mm. that we do. So we will say all PEC members must go and report back to citizens mm. and the communities. And those meetings, we always say open them up. Mm. Don't say we only need card carrying members. Mm. Every port in that specific ward must come and listen to what we're talking about. Mm. So we'll definitely work on that mm. so that everyone knows what is it that the ANC want. We'll use it in social media. Mm. Our website will make sure that we throw in some issues and say, mm. tell us about the ANC, what mm. type of an ANC we want. Mm. What is it that we should do to make the ANC change mm. for the better? Mom Namantu, thank you so much for your time. Of course, we will catch up with you later on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice. Well, Flo, that was the deputy chair of the ANC in the province, Mam Nomantu Nkomoralo Hoko. Of course, uh, we know that uh, commissions uh, will be in session now, and of course, that's uh, closed uh, to the media. Various delegates will be breaking up uh, to discuss um, those all important, uh, you know, uh, uh, policy documents of uh, the ANC. Uh, following that, uh, Flo, in the evening will be the election. Um, of those 30 additional uh, members which will comprise of those PC members which is the highest decision making body um, of the ANC in the province in uh, between conference and of course uh, the results will be announced uh, later on in the evening so we will be here as the SABC news team throughout the day to give you all uh, the live coverage in regards to the resumption of the 14th provincial conference of the ANC right here in the economic hub of the country if not of the continent All right, uh, Natasha let's catch up with you uh, later on. Of course, as you mentioned, they are breaking uh, for lunch at the moment, but we'll certainly uh, be catching up with Natasha Pierre, who is uh, in Benoni for us uh, in uh, the east of uh, Johannesburg.